Well, good morning. It is um, March 21st, 2019. Um, this is kind of a look at the uh, garden that we, well, the plants that we started for our garden. Um, uh, we got a lot of things that sprouted, a bunch of tomatoes, uh, since we're selling tomatoes at market this year. Um, I'm mostly doing brandy wines and pineapple tomatoes. So the brandy wines are here, quite a few of them anyhow. And then down here, these are all the pineapple. Oh no, actually those are brandy wines on that side. A couple brandy wines and then the rest of them are pineapple tomatoes. So they're all heirloom, uh, like slicer tomatoes. I only went with two different kinds. We got a red one and a, a yellow one. And I was kind of thinking I probably should have done some cherry tomatoes because people love cherry tomatoes. And I planted quite a few. All these ones that say cherry buzz. They haven't sprouted yet. I planted them a little late. But those are mostly going to be for um for us i planted 20 of them i'll sell a couple maybe if if they're you know in high demand which i think they will be um, we also got some artichokes come up let's see you can see those the taller ones there they're artichokes artichoke so i needed i think four Maybe more. I needed four, so I planted eight. Got seven. And they look really good, all of them. So, super vigorous. Um, and then there's more tomatoes along this windowsill. And then back on that end. Bunch of tomatoes. Uh, then we got, like, cauliflower. Come up. Some cauliflower, uh, broccoli, all right there. Um, I'm using this little heater right here. It's going to heat this room uh, overnight because it's still getting kind of cold. Um, and it does a really good job. And then during the day, it's the sun's been coming out and heating this up to about... 70 degrees or so, so it, we don't really need the heater running then, but uh, we definitely need heat in the night. Um, we do have plans to build, um, gosh, what are they called? Uh, it's kind of like a, a greenhouse, but it's, um, I think they call it a cold frame. But uh, anyhow, what it is is basically just a room built of windows. It's a lot like a greenhouse, but it's not. Um, it's going to be up against the house, and I'll I'll take video of that. Also down here, I'm also hoping to sell arugula at market. So that is what we have here. It's looking really good, and it's really tasty. I ate some already. Really good arugula, and then we have red rom. I think it's yeah, red romaine here. And I had I had a couple tomato plants. Um, they were these Brad's Atomic grape tomatoes, and they look awesome. Uh, but I, evidently, I planted two or more seeds in one container, so I pulled them out and I put them in here. So we'll see if those end up. They look fine. I did that probably over a week ago. So and there's there are a couple celery seeds on this side that haven't come up yet. So, and then a lot of the seed that we were using was from years past. Um, and then a bunch of it was new seed. Uh, I did notice that a lot of the cauliflower and broccoli didn't come up. Um, and what was funny was that a lot of the... Uh, man, I, I want to say this purple cauliflower, where you know none of it came up. I want to say that it was, uh, we purchased that this year, and just none of it sprouted. I don't know what the deal was with that. I could be mistaken. They could be old seeds. 
but it looks like I have a um, a pepper sprouted. No way. This is the a king of the north pepper. There it is. That is rad. So I'm going to put this a little more in the sun. If I can get a spot for it. Oh sweet, there's another one. Yeah, there's another pepper sprouted. That's good news. So I'll just kind of scoot it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting those to be sprouted for a while. So we don't really have the best system in here right now, as you can see. But it's working. You know, I'm just doing what I can with what I've got. This, you know, this hot tub. It's totally awesome to have a hot tub. But it is not good right here. So this has to come out. And then we're planning on uh, putting racks kind of in a u-shape here um, just standing shelves anything that's below the sun here we'll just put um, lighting down um, I have a bunch of grow lights so we'll just do kind of like a keyhole looking deal here just line the outside with uh, shelves um, have artificial lighting where it's needed because we want to end up doing microgreens, and we can do those in the off season, and um, which and they're really easy and profitable. Um, but yeah, that will make doing what I'm trying to do here a lot easier. I did also plant a ton of tomatoes for market up here. These are all the brandy wines and uh, pineapple tomatoes. Over a hundred up there alone. I probably did. Probably did like 300 um, tomatoes for market. Not all of them came up, as you can see. There's a couple where there's nothing, but pretty good germination. Um, let's see. There's two, three. Uh, looks like there's about seven or eight um, cups down here that don't have a plant in them. Um, and I think that there's let's see, six by there's at least uh, 80 cups right here alone, so that's pretty good, you know, 90% or so germination. Um, so yeah, we're, this is what's going on. It's uh, early, early spring. Things are springing, so we're going to get these in the garden. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Um, we'll get back with... Uh, you know, some more data on, uh, you know, how how well things sold and, and things like that, you know. Because um, this is the first time that we're, we're going to be selling anything <coughs> at market. Sorry, I'm a little sick. But, uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Um... We're, we're, we're pumped to tr make the transition to farming. That's what we want to do. So I'll keep this uh, updated. And um, thanks for watching.